and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Genesis 1 verse 3. Greetings, celestial seekers. Today, we dive into one of the most profound experiments in the history of science, the double-slit experiment. This simple yet mind-bending discovery has raised questions about the nature of reality itself. So, let's embark on this journey together to explore the mysteries of light, observation, and the fabric of the universe. Stay tuned and, as always, feel free to share your thoughts and questions as we go along. Thomas Young and the First Glimpse of the Unknown In the early 1800s, a British scientist named Thomas Young performed an experiment that would change the way we understand light. Back then, scientists were in a heated debate, is light made of tiny particles, or does it move like a wave? Some believed that light was made of little particles, while others thought it moved like waves in the ocean. Young had an idea to settle this debate. He set up a screen with two narrow slits in it and shone a beam of light through the slits. If light were made of particles, it would behave like tiny bullets, passing through the slits and hitting the screen behind in two bright spots. But if light were a wave, it would spread out and create a pattern of light and dark bands on the screen, similar to how ripples on a pond overlap and interfere with each other. When Young conducted the experiment, he didn't see two bright spots. Instead, he saw an interference pattern, just like waves create when they pass through each other. This result meant that light was behaving like a wave. It wasn't just traveling in straight lines like particles but spreading out and interacting with itself. This discovery was groundbreaking because it showed that light isn't as simple as we once thought. Young's experiment seemed to confirm that light moves like a wave, and for a time, this settled the debate. But as we'll see, the story doesn't end there. Light, as we now know, is far more mysterious than anyone could have imagined at the time. Does it make sense to you that light, something we experience every day, could behave in such strange and unexpected ways? Let me know your thoughts in the chat. The modern twist, particles or waves? As science advanced, researchers began to wonder if this strange behavior applied only to light or if other things in the universe could act the same way. By the 20th century, physicists had learned a lot more about the tiny building blocks of the universe, including electrons. Electrons are particles that make up atoms, the stuff that everything around us is made of. Naturally, scientists assumed that electrons, being particles, should behave like little solid objects. So, they decided to put electrons through the same double-slit experiment that Thomas Young had used with light. The thinking was simple, if electrons are particles, they should behave like tiny bullets passing through the two slits and create two spots on the screen behind them, just like we would expect from any small object. But what actually happened was far from simple. When electrons were shot at the slits, they didn't behave like particles at all. Instead, they created an interference pattern, just like the waves of light had done in Young's original experiment. The electrons seemed to be acting like waves, spreading out and overlapping in ways that didn't make sense for tiny particles of matter. This left scientists scratching their heads. How could something as solid and real as an electron, which we know is a particle, behave like a wave? It seemed as though the electron wasn't choosing just one path through the slits, instead, it was somehow passing through both slits at the same time, like a wave spreading out. The results were confusing and groundbreaking. What did it mean? Could electrons, and by extension, all matter, be both particles and waves at the same time? This puzzling outcome showed that our everyday understanding of how things behave didn't apply at the smallest levels of nature. The more scientists dug into the mystery, the stranger things became. Does the idea of something being both a particle and a wave challenge the way you think about the world around you? It certainly puzzled the scientists of the time, and it's something we're still trying to fully understand today. Let me know what you think about this wave-particle mystery. The observer effect, the mystery deepens. Things got even stranger when scientists decided to take the experiment one step further. They wanted to figure out how, exactly, the electrons were creating the interference pattern. To do this, they set up detectors to watch which slit the electron passed through. This way, they could finally see if the electron was behaving like a particle or a wave as it moved through the slits. But here's where things took a surprising turn. The moment they placed the detectors to observe the electrons, the interference pattern disappeared. Instead of behaving like a wave, the electrons started acting like particles again, creating two clear spots on the screen, just like tiny bullets passing through one slit or the other. It was as if the electrons knew they were being watched and changed their behavior. Without the detectors, they acted like waves, going through both slits and interfering with themselves. But with the detectors, they suddenly became particles, choosing one path or the other. This result was shocking. It suggested that the simple act of observing the electrons could change the outcome of the experiment. Before they were observed, the electrons seemed to exist in a state of possibilities, like they hadn't yet decided whether to be particles or waves. But once observed, they made a definite choice. 
This phenomenon is now known as the observer effect. The implications of the observer effect are huge. It raises a deep and unsettling question, does the universe behave differently when we aren't watching? The fact that observing something as small as an electron could change its behavior challenges our basic understanding of reality. It suggests that the observer, the person or device watching, plays a key role in shaping what happens. This led scientists to wonder if the act of observing is not just passive, but active. Could it be that by observing something, we actually influence how it behaves? This idea connects with bigger philosophical questions. If observing can change the behavior of electrons, could the same principle apply to larger systems, or even to our everyday world? The observer effect also ties into the mysterious world of quantum mechanics, where particles can exist in multiple states at once until they're measured. In a way, it seems like reality is not set in stone but is shaped by our interaction with it. So, what does this mean for us? Are we simply passive witnesses to the world around us, or do we play a more active role in shaping it just by observing? It's a mind-boggling idea that scientists are still trying to fully understand today. How do you feel about the possibility that reality might change depending on whether or not it's being observed? Does this challenge the way you see the world? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Spiritual Implications, The Role of the Observer The results of the double-slit experiment raised questions not only in the world of physics but also in the realms of philosophy and spirituality. The idea that reality changes when it's observed touches on some of the deepest and most ancient concepts found in spiritual traditions. It challenges the way we think about the universe and our role within it, suggesting that our very presence could be shaping the world around us in ways we don't fully understand. In many spiritual traditions, there is a recurring theme, the idea that consciousness or awareness plays a central role in the unfolding of the universe. In the Bible, for example, the act of creation begins with a word, let there be light, and from that point on, the universe takes shape. Could it be that the observer effect, in some way, reflects this idea? The double-slit experiment suggests that observation is not just a passive action. It might actually influence reality, much like how, in many spiritual teachings, consciousness brings things into being. This concept isn't limited to Western traditions like Christianity. In Eastern philosophies, particularly in Buddhism and Hinduism, the idea that reality is shaped by consciousness has long been discussed. In Buddhism, for instance, there's the concept that reality is an illusion shaped by the mind. The world we experience is, to some extent, created by our perception of it. In Hinduism, the universe is often described as, Maya, or an illusion, which means that what we see is not the ultimate reality, but rather a reflection influenced by our awareness. Even in Sufism, a mystical branch of Islam, there's a belief in the interconnectedness of all things, where the observer and the observed are not truly separate. This unity echoes the observer effect, which seems to suggest that by observing the world, we become a part of it and play an active role in shaping it. It's almost as if science, through experiments like the double slit, is confirming what ancient spiritual traditions have been saying for centuries, that consciousness and reality are deeply intertwined. If we consider these spiritual implications further, the double slit experiment may suggest that reality isn't fixed or predetermined. Instead, it could be fluid, open to change depending on how and when it's observed. This raises a profound question, what if our own consciousness, our attention, and our thoughts are shaping the world around us in ways we're not even aware of? Quantum physics and spirituality may seem like very different fields, but the double-slit experiment brings them closer together. Quantum mechanics deals with the smallest particles in the universe, yet it raises the same kinds of questions that philosophers and spiritual seekers have been asking for thousands of years. The experiment forces us to rethink what we know about reality. It suggests that the line between science and spirituality may not be as clear as we once thought. So, what role do you think we play in shaping the reality we experience? Is there a deeper connection between science and spirituality that we've only just begun to uncover? Are we merely observers in this vast universe, or do we have the power to shape it with our awareness? The implications of the double-slit experiment open the door to these profound questions, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on them in the comments. Could it be that ancient spiritual teachings and modern quantum physics are pointing us toward the same truths? The future, what lies ahead? The double-slit experiment has left us with more questions than answers, and the deeper we go into the world of quantum mechanics, the more complex and mysterious it becomes. But where do we go from here? What does the future hold for our understanding of reality, and what new discoveries might lie ahead? First, it's important to recognize that the double-slit experiment is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Quantum physics is full of strange phenomena that challenge our common sense, 
from particles that can exist in multiple places at once to the famous spooky action at a distance that Albert Einstein struggled with, where two particles appear to communicate instantaneously, even if they are light years apart. These puzzling effects are pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible and are forcing scientists to rethink how the universe works at its most fundamental level. One of the most exciting areas of future research involves trying to understand the role of consciousness in quantum mechanics. The observer effect suggests that simply watching something changes its behavior. But why? Is it possible that our minds are not just passive observers but active participants in shaping reality? Could there be a deeper connection between human consciousness and the physical universe than we currently understand? Scientists are beginning to explore these questions in more detail, and while we don't have the answers yet, the potential implications are staggering. Another area where the double-slit experiment might take us is in the development of new technologies. Quantum mechanics has already given rise to incredible advancements, such as quantum computing, which has the potential to revolutionize everything from cryptography to medicine. By continuing to explore the strange behavior of particles like electrons and photons, we could unlock new ways of harnessing the power of the quantum world to create technologies that were once thought to be the stuff of science fiction. But perhaps the most profound question of all is whether we will ever truly understand the mysteries of the quantum world. As we explore deeper into this realm, we keep uncovering more questions. Will we one day have a unified theory that explains everything, from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galaxies? Or will the universe always remain, at least in part, beyond our grasp, full of mysteries that we can't fully comprehend? The double-slit experiment reminds us that even the simplest experiments can reveal profound truths about the nature of reality. It also shows us that the universe is far stranger and more mysterious than we ever imagined. As we continue to push the boundaries of science, we may find ourselves confronting new and unexpected discoveries that force us to rethink everything we know. So, what do you think lies ahead for our understanding of reality? Will science eventually solve the mysteries of the quantum world, or are there some questions that will always remain unanswered? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and let's continue exploring this incredible journey together.